Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another quick video, guys. So I'm here with the Huawei GT Runner smartwatch, and I'll be showing you all the new update, which is the Harmony OS 3 update. And the update is currently rolling out for the Huawei GT3 series of watches. So that's the GT3 Pro, um, the GT3 Porsche design, also the GT Runner and the GT 2002 Collector's Edition. So like I said, the update guys, it's now available, it's rolling out. So just check your smartwatch. Um, you should have got a notification as well. Because I got a notification on my phone through the Huawei health application letting me know that the update was ready to download. So the update size is 100 megabytes. So we're just going to take a look at some of the new stuff. There's not much, guys, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look. So there's quick payments. However, I don't have it on my watch. I've been looking for it and I cannot see it. It's just not there. So I don't know if that's region related. I'm in the UK, so maybe that's only exclusive for China. I'm not sure about that. There's also quick watch face. So um, so with the quick watch face, you can set up a customized version of watch faces to match your outfits. So this makes the watch faces more intriguing and interesting. So to find the quick watch face, you would go into, just put my password in. You'd go into the Huawei health application and select devices, watch faces, then select mine and then when you scroll down to the bottom here you will see two new watch faces so kaleidoscope this is also new and this one which is style so this is the outfit watch face so you can, like I mentioned, you can um, set this to match your outfits. And this is the new Kaleidoscope watch face that you have to, well, that you can download. It's 8.2 megabytes in size. So I'm just going to download it. Okay, rotate the crown for a kaleidoscope effect. A kaleidoscope effect. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's check it out, shall we? So by the looks of this, this will unlock new patterns on, watch on the watch face when you access the crown to adjust the kaleidoscope display effect. So down here, there's some options so you can add an image to your kaleidoscope if you select the little plus sign you can take a picture of yourself or take a picture of something or you can use a picture of what's already in the gallery and these are the different effects i'm guessing wow that one looks cool Let's have a look at the default one. And there's also style. And you can also change the color of the hands. So as you can see, it's changed to pink from white. Changed it to blue. I think I'll keep it on white. Okay, so let's just put it back to its default and check it out. Okay, 
So this is it. This is the kaleidoscope watch face. And when you turn the crown, gives us these <laughs> kaleidoscope effects. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so my watch is disconnected. Hold on guys, I'll just reconnect it. Give me a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back. So it's nothing fancy guys. Okay, um, let's have a look at what else is new. So there's also some new colors on the flashlight. So when you pull down the notifications here and pull it down again, you'll see the torch. And we have these new options. So when you select color, there's all these new colors. You can even make your own color as well. <laughs> this kaleidoscope for <though. laughs> it's childish to be honest. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. What I'd do is I would check to see if you've already downloaded the update as well. Because you might have already updated it, but you haven't applied it. You haven't installed it, sorry. So just, because um, you might have your update set to auto-update, where it downloads the package. So, so just scroll down from the main page here on the Huawei health application scroll down to where it says firmware update and here you can check for the update and also just select the little settings icon there and check to see if this is enabled auto download update package over LAN if that's on you've probably already um, downloaded the update you just need to install it so i'd go ahead and turn that on to auto install updates and restart the device when it's not in use but yeah that's it for the that's it for the video guys it's just a pretty much it's pretty much just a simple update with a few new little things so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up it's you by the android doctor and I'm out. See you in the next one. Doses.